The first uh, probably three weeks were the hardest. During the day I would have been alone at home and it's been very useful to have um, actually a place to go to and people that actually um, listen but also just spending some time and it's just relaxing, it breaks the day, it makes a difference. To have a professional say to you, he's fine, he's doing really well, he's putting weight on, he's doing great, and that just puts your mind at rest and you feel at ease thinking, yes, you know, I can do this, I'm getting on with it and he's doing well. The health visitors were absolutely fantastic, they were very reassuring and very nice. He was born with glaucoma from coming here and seeing the health visitor here referred to the, the specialist that he needed to see. You know, one of the most common things in pregnancies is depression and the postnatal depression and, and to, to, to call and ask for help, it's not always the easiest to do. So for someone to come to you and say, is everything okay? Often opens up that channel for someone to say, well actually not, I'm, I'm not okay. Especially with my first child, me and my partner, I'd say we panicked a lot. I was in a state of high anxiety mainly to keep him alive, mainly that he was fed, and mainly that he, when he got you know, to about three or four, that he didn't do himself any injury. We've seen our health visitors a lot because we didn't know anything about breastfeeding, we didn't know anything about you know, all that sort of stuff, so she was vitally important then. But I remember coming around a lot, and I remember a machine, which used to weigh him on, and it was like, uh, you know, when your baby gets delivered and they carry the, the, uh, the baby in a, a pelican, you know, it was a bit like that.